It does look like I have boobs. It does look like I have boobs, so that's cool. Obviously, I'm gonna make it as small as possible. Too tight across the chest, and I'm an A cup. All these little slashes in it, and I don't really feel like I have the confidence nor the occasion. If not, you're nipping right through this one. My name is Claire. You might recognize me from Instagram, TikTok, or Snapchat, but today we're back on the YouTube channel, and you can go ahead and subscribe to see more of me here. I post every Sunday at 10 a.m. PST, with the exception of this Monday because I wanted to be the first to wish you a very happy new year. And today we're going to be doing yet another try on haul. I have a whole bunch of clothing, plus two bikinis from Charcoal Clothing, a brand that's new to me, so I'm excited to try it out. And then, we also have Jaded London, which I've never tried before, so I'm really excited to test it out, including the outfit I'm wearing right now. So, let's get started with what I'm wearing right now, which is this gorgeous dress. It's called the Umbra Mini Dress in the color burgundy, and I'm wearing a size extra small. It's $73, so pretty expensive, especially because it's so easy to snag these little threads and rip it I feel like. I'm also wearing a headband which is from Charcoal Clothing but we'll get into Charcoal Clothing next. I'm just having a bad hair day so we have to control it somehow. But yeah, this is the dress. I like it. Especially love the open back. I think the mini skirt is super flattering. I feel like it sits right under the butt so it's very very short. I feel like one wrong move and we're all out but basically you're already all out with this fabric. It's got like all these little slashes in it so it's very see-through and revealing. I had to put on pasties in the front because if not you're nipping right through this one. And then I just paired it with some burgundy underwear because you can also see through everything here. I would say a safer option is probably the black version of this dress because with the black undergarment it's not as obvious. I kind of wish they sold it with like a pair of underwear that matched better with it but anyways yeah I feel like it's cute. I'm hoping I'll wear it if I ever go on a vacation or something but yeah I don't really know what purpose it's going to serve for me exactly but I do like it. I think I'm going to give it like a 7 out of 10 because it's so so flattering. Here's the next Jaded London dress. One wrong move and everything is coming out so I kept the pasties on just to be safe because literally they're just like slipping out. This is the knitted studded tie mini dress or something like that. 98 bucks full price. I forgot to mention that I bought this stuff during Black Friday like on sale. Like, 30 or something percent off. I don't think it's really that flattering. I don't know if I just did a poor job tying it or what. I don't feel like it's doing anything for my figure. It's kind of just there. It's really short and like I feel my butt cheeks coming out the bottom of it. Just a little gust of wind and it's just everything is out. The knit fabric is really soft and high quality. It's cool that there's like knit fabric with pleats in it. I've never seen anything like that. I think I'm gonna give this like a four out of 10 personally. Here's the next outfit. I know it's bad. We'll get into it. Stick It Illusion Vest in a UK size 4 for $30. And it's paired with the Assassin Micro Mini Skirt in a UK size 6 for $78. And I think I like the skirt. I have a different top that I'll try on with it next to see if with a longer top we like it more. Because it is so short. I love the detailing on the belt. It's really cool and it's actually adjustable. I don't know how good I did putting it on for the try on. It's really, really low in the back. Like, I had to tuck my underwear down. That's how low it is. And very, very, very short. But I think if I did, like, tights and tall boots and a longer top, I would like it more. So I think I'm going to keep the skirt. I'm going to think on it, but I do like it. The top is horrible. I have, like, the opposite problem of what I normally have with tops, where it's too big in the waist and then too tight across the chest. And I'm an A cup. So that never happens. I don't really know what's going on with the fit of this. It's pretty nice quality and fabric, but like this is clearly supposed to be very fitted to give this like body illusion it's supposed to, and it's not giving that. So yeah, this is kind of an L, but let's try on the other top and see if we like that one paired with this skirt, we'll see. Next top is the Kate Cross Plunge Top in a UK size six for $61. And not as long as I thought it would be. I think my torso is just way longer than the other girls on the website, which is why the proportions are so different than I thought they would be. I don't think I like it, to be honest. Again, like, I don't know who I thought I was because I give off a sexy persona online, but in real life I'm awkward. And I don't really feel like I have the confidence nor the occasion to wear anything like this. I just don't think I leave the house in it. Also, the lace-ups, are like two strings here and then there's just this extra loop 
No idea what it's for or what to do with it. Confusing. I don't think I'll pull it up, personally. Yeah, I'm gonna give it like a four out of 10. I'll probably return this as well. Oh my God. I'm so confused by this brand. Why does nothing fit? Like if I pull it up here to like not show the pasties that need to be worn because there's all these sheer spots in the top, then my literal coochie comes out. And if I pull it down in the back, the boobs come out. It's just not working for me at all, at all. I forgot to even, in my haste, I forgot to tell you guys what the style is. Okay, in case you think maybe this will work for you better than it does for me, this is the Zion Denim Corset Mini Dress for $84 in a UK size six. It's just a no in every way, except because it is so short and I had to pull down so much, it does look like I have boobs. It does look like I have boobs, so that's cool but everything else about it is not cool. How do girls do this brand? I don't understand. Oh wait, I forgot to rate it. Um, three out of 10. Thank God, last jaded London item before we move into charcoal clothing. This is the Tribeca backless mini dress in an extra small and the color blue for 60 bucks. So I believe this is one of the cheaper or if not cheapest dresses we got. And the fabric is the best quality I think so far. It's a really nice luxury like knit feeling. The ribbing is cute. I like the acid wash on it. And then it's bathless, but I don't love it. I'm gonna return it. I think this like fabric just bunches up right here around your waist and makes you look really wide unless you're constantly pulling it down. I just don't think it's flattering, honestly. It's just not my vibe. <sighs> like I'm not an it girl enough for this aesthetic. Cause the quality is nice, like a five out of 10, but I don't like it. So I will be returning her. Oh, we're getting to the clothes from Charcoal Clothing. We're gonna go ahead and try on the two swimsuits I got. Do I need more swimsuits? No. You guys have seen all of my recent bikini try on hauls. I'll pop them all up here. I did a three part series of trying on bikinis. Didn't need these, but they were about $20 a piece on sale and they looked cute. So I thought I'd just let you know if they're worth it or not. And they are, but this is the Starboard Balconette Bikini Top paired with the Laguna Bikini Bottoms. I got the Bikini Bottoms in a size four and the top in a size six. And I love this color. The quality is really nice, especially for such a low price point. Cinchable coverage so you can stretch them out or squeeze them in, which obviously I'm gonna make it as small as possible. We already know that. And if there's one thing about me, I like a conservative outfit and I like a skimpy bikini. So we'll just put that out there. I like the top, I'm happy I sized up one size in it because I feel like it's fitting good, it's cute, the color is great. I did wanna mention that I've already tried on all this stuff from Truckle Clothing because I need to return what I didn't like before I missed the return date because I ordered like a thousand dollars worth of stuff for the video. So I went ahead and returned everything that didn't fit. So we only have things that I like and decide to keep in the rest of the video. So at least we're gonna be ending the video on a more positive note than Jaded London, so yeah. That is this bikini. I like her. She's like an eight out of 10. Okay, once again, we have the Laguna bikini bottom in a size four, and I paired it with the Laguna triangle bikini top, also in a size four. Little black, simple set. Can't go wrong with her. She's so cute. I really, really like this. The top style is super cute. It's got these little knots along the top, and then it just ties in the back. So very cute, adjustable, love her. Same bottoms we saw before. I think they're just as flattering in black, if not more. And this is great. This is a great simple bikini, I'm like an eight and a half out of 10. She ate it up. Okay, charcoal. Here's our first outfit from Charcoal Clothing. This is the Original Sin Mini in Cream by the brand Lioness in a size extra extra small. Very cute. You can uncinch the sides and leave the ties dangling or you can tie them up just a bit, which is what I did. They cinch up as much as you want though. So if you wanna be super short with it, you totally can. I think it's really cute and flattering. I like that with the mini, you have a little bit of off the shoulder, but still some good neckline coverage. So the sexy accessory is the legs in this one. And I love that it's a knit with a pair of like winter tall boots. So cute. Okay, next we have the Eleanor mini dress in a size four in the color black, obviously. I love like how well fitting it is. In the model photo, it was more A-line, so I think maybe I should have sized up so it had like a little bit of a better fit, but it just fits so well in my waist and chest area that I don't know that it would have if I sized up. So all in all, no, it's not exactly what I thought it was buying, but yes, I still like it. And yeah, I think it's cute. The fabric is really nice quality. My camera died, sorry about that. But what I was saying is the quality is great. It has a like sticky rubber thing at the top to hold it in place. 
cute addition to the closet. If I ever go on a date, this is what I'm gonna wear. So we'll see. But yeah, she's cute. I like her. This is like honestly a nine out of 10. If it had like a little bit more length and flared up just a tiny bit more, it'd be a 10. But I'm being picky. I really like it. Okay, next we have the Diona mini dress. I think I'm saying that right. In the color Coco in a size four. And I know it just looks like a boring, sheath, ill-fitting dress from the front, but had a little backless. Okay. I think it's so cute. I think it's so short, but it's okay that it's kind of shapeless from the front, especially with the business in the front party in the back. Okay, I kind of love it. And the quality of this match is like double lined, really nice. I think this like espresso color is super cute and a little bit of spice in the back, so cute. I think I'm gonna give this like an eight out of 10. I really like it. Before getting into the last dress, I have three tops to show you guys. I ordered so many, and these are the three I decided to keep that I love. So, just gonna pair them with this black mini skirt from Free People because it's super basic to show off the tops more. This is the Abby corset top. I got a size four. These are UK sizing, by the way, and I really like it. It's cute, it's simple. I think it's like flattering on the girls. Considering that I don't have much going on up here, I feel like it looks like I do. So love that. I like the little corseted tie-up detailing. It's really like tailored, a nice fabric. It's really cute. I would probably wear it with jeans and like black heels, not this skirt. But like I said, just trying it on with the skirt to show you guys everything. But I do really like this top. She ate it up. Nine out of 10, love her. Okay, next we have the Vivian top in burnt olive in a size four. I've already committed to the bit of pairing everything with this skirt and once again, I think I would wear this top with jeans. So I don't know why I didn't just try this on with jeans, but I like the top. She's very cute. I like the off the shoulder thing. Something I love about this top is the quality of the satin is very nice, but it also ties in the back so you can adjust it tighter to be more like fitted in the front or you can like keep it loose. So I like that versatility. I think I should have sized up maybe one size. It's a little bit tight across the chest, but overall I really like it, which is very cute. I think this is like an eight. Okay, this is the Florence top in a size four in black, obviously. Very cute, I love this top. It's like lacy mesh and then it has like a mesh underlay. I went ahead and put pasties underneath just to be safe, but I honestly think you can go braless with the dark color because the lacy applique really covers where you'd be nipping and with the double layered mesh, it's pretty much good to go, I feel like. Again, I think I'd more wear this with jeans, but I don't hate it with the skirt. Still think she's cute, I love the frilly like wide sleeves, how fun are those? It's like giving like little witchy vibes, but like in a cute way. Love the off the shoulder. It's a little bit tight, but it's elastic and I think I can stretch it out, so no worries. Here it is from the back. Very simple and plain and cute. This one is a nine and a half out of 10. I really like it. I think this is my favorite top you got from Charcoal. She's so cute. Here is the last dress I have to show you guys. It's a full length mesh dress called the Kate Maxi Dress. And it goes just above my ankles, which I really like. So it's easier to walk in than something that's like past your ankles super long. And the ruche along the side is super flattering, I feel like. I like the high neckline. I feel like it's flattering in the back. Overall, a very nice cute dress. It's not too sexy. I do feel like this color is a bit close to my skin tone once again, but hey, that's not their fault. That's my fault. So super cute. Love her. That is the last dress I have to show you guys today. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next time I upload. Love you. Bye.